All right, friends, welcome. Welcome back. It's been several days. I had a busy week at work, so I haven't been able to fly, but it's Saturday now. We're still in Vail, Colorado. We're going to do a part one, part two video. Uh, we're taking off. We're in the process of, take, of taxiing for takeoff uh, to fly in our beloved 343 Bravo Whiskey. And we are going to uh, Teterboro, headed to New York, sort of, or as close as we can get. Um, I th concluded that, God, those trees look good, don't they? I concluded it was time for another around the world flight. But this time, from west to east instead of east to west. Which is fine with me. I prefer to capitalize on the tailwind. In any event, we're all uh, obviously uh, configured for takeoff. We got our flaps set at one. We got our lights on. Taxi light recognition, anti-collisions. Beautiful day here in uh, Vail, Colorado. And specifically, it's uh, 64 degrees and partly cloudy. As you can see, Sims got the weather right. It's always refreshing. Outside air temperature here listed as 20 degrees Celsius, double plus 30. This comes up to 70, so a little bit off. A little warmer in the Sim than it is in Vail in real life. And we're headed, as I said, to Teterboro, where it is very warm today. I was quite surprised. I I, I didn't expect uh, it to be... Uh, Approaching runway zero. I didn't expect it to be so warm in Teterboro, but it is 88 degrees and sunny. We'll be there about oh, three hours and 20 minutes. That's my my expectation. It's 10:27 a.m. Clear for takeoff. 10:27 a.m. here on Saturday, May 22nd. Uh, in on the west coast of the U.S. Uh, so, you know, you figure that means it's 11.30 in the morning in uh, Colorado, where we are now. And at three and a half hours, I figure we land, what? It's 11, uh, let's see, three and a half hours, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, probably about five. Plenty of daylight. Anyway, let's get going. God damn, we're lined up nice, aren't we? All right, let's go. Nobody's coming. We're gonna, little part one video, we can clear it up to 11,000 feet on our climb out. Just making a short little part one video here because if in fact I am actually- be runway zero seven. Entered runway zero seven. If in fact, I am beginning my uh, around the world flight from Colorado. Then I figured I might as well have a video commemorating its initiation, right? Seems only fair. All right, let's taxi out onto this runway. We, the winds of apparently in the sim are different uh, than they were or than they are in real life because the winds in real life were listed out of the northeast. Now they're Apparently <laughs> out of the southwest. So we got a 10 knot tailwind. That's no fun. But we'll make it work. Okay. All right. We're all set up with our 10 knot. Actually, well, it's sort of a partial tailwind. It's from the south. Kind of, yeah, basically from the south. South, southwest, south. 10 knots. Anyway. Let's see how this goes. Let's get those cabin floods up. Okay. Start our timer. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. All right, it started. Sink our heading bug. Oh, we're going to engage nav. We're going to zoom out on the MFD. All right, let's go.
airspeed's alive. The scenery looks fantastic. Both engines at 180 knots. Feeling that wind. One twenty. One forty and rotate. Oof, boy, that tailwind fucked with us. All right, positive rate. Gear up. Autopilot's engaged. Auto throttle. Autopilot took a little longer there to engage than I would have preferred. Bring those flaps in. Look at those trees going by. The FPS looks fantastic. Settings at ultra. I'm very happy with those FPS. Cars going by down here. Looks fantastic. Gives the FLC. Get our speed up. I, don't, I, I thought I said it at 195. Huh. Okay, whatever. All right, gang. Look at the mountains. Oh, goodbye, Colorado. I'll be back, I don't know, maybe a week or 10 days when I finish my around the world flight. Coming up on 11,000, which is what we we're cleared up to. Let's get those landing lights off. All right, well. What you think? There's the airport back there. There it is. Gears up, flaps are in. Leveling off at 11,000 where they told us to. God, the colors on the cliffs here look amazing. Two one zero. There's somebody on final coming right at us. Yikes! Sorry, dude. We'll set our altimeter. Look at this guy. He's like, holy shit! That's me. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? We're good. We're good. We turn. Get our speed up. Set the FLC at. Come on, come on. Set the FLC at three zero zero. Altimeter. What did they say? Two one zero. I already forgot. Scroll up here on the. Uh, two one zero. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's it, friends. Just thought I'd uh, give you a little part one video of our tailwind takeoff. From Vail, Colorado. We've been here for s several days. I think we got here on uh, Monday or something. I don't know. I had a super busy... Whoops! I had a super busy week at work. Look at the trees. Damn. So I didn't get a chance to fly this week. So I'm very happy to be back in the bird. Back in our beloved 343 Bravo Whiskey. Man, what a beautiful day. So anyway, uh, we'll see you in about uh, three hours, three hours and ten minutes as we get to uh, to Teterboro for part two. From there, I don't know, I was thinking I might head to Iceland. What do you think? Put that in the comments. Not that anybody comments. All right, that's it for now. Just a quick little part one takeoff from Vail, Colorado, bound for our first destination, our around-the-world trip, Teterboro. K-T-E-B, Kilo Tango Echo Bravo. Thanks again for joining us.